hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to give a short um educational description about these uh, old school type of uh, water water system uh, known as uh, open vented cylinders yeah so this is the open vented cylinder um basically this is a, a hot water system uh the best place i would say is to start from the loft we were going to view how the water circulates and how it's fed to this tank and what's what are these devices all about around this yeah right now i'm sitting in the loft but my camera is pointed uh, on the floor directly down um, as you can see these three pipes there on the left side one of them is a valve so the the pipe to the extreme left hand side that pipe is going to carry mains water uh, from your city city council that mains water that's called mains water is going to come up then that water is going to go through this pipe and I'm pointing it now. Then it will bifurcate into two. That's going to be basically your inlet to the larger tank, which I'm pointing at now. Then also an inlet again to the smaller tank. Right? So that's just your inlet to the to the open uh open vented tanks, the two small tanks. So each of these tanks inside, you'll find that typically there is a bow valve. Uh, just like in your system, right? For topping up. I'll open one for you. I'll open the smaller tank. As you can see in there, my supply comes in there. Right? Then... This the system basically is the same for both the smaller tank and the and the bigger one. Now let's discuss the second pipe. We've discussed the water supply pipe. The next pipe, which is the middle pipe from my uh, video, the middle one, it goes up. That pipe basically is coming, as you can see, it's coming from the top of that cylinder. So that would be your vent pipe. So if you get any over pressure from the cylinder it goes up through that pipe then it comes up up uh, typically vent pipes you'll see them with a band a, 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 a u band onto the the, uh, the the tank at the top um instead of sideways or under so if you see a bended pipe at the, at the top of the tank that is your 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 vent. So if there is any over pressure from there, it will go up, then condense down to the tank. Because by the way, that's a that's still the the, the loft tank is a cold water ta tank. That's why you get condensation from there. Whereas that cylinder down there is supposed to be the hot water cylinder. It's supposed to have hot water. So, how does that cylinder get its water? It gets it from the bottom of the tank uh, in the loft. So, that would be the other pipework that we need to discuss. I almost forgot to mention uh, there's uh, another pipe again comes sideways um, from each tank uh, that pipe usually it's unlegged so most of the time and it's it's plastic as you can see the other pipework is metal and it's, it's copper and it's legged um, the white PVC pipe pipework usually it's going to be slanted downwards towards the under, other end of the loft. And that is your overflow. 
in case you get a problem um, with the the ball valves, right? Uh, or cocks, right? That supply water in case they are defective and they are continuously passing water. These overflow pipes are going to direct the water uh, outside. Just to summarize again, main water supply to the uh, loft tanks, then cold water inlet from larger tank to the cylinder. Apart from uh, the, 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 the vent side, uh, going up upstairs this is also the same uh, pipe that's going to bifurcate into two um, this is going to be your outlet from the cylinder your normal uh, hot water is going to flow this direction right all to your your other taps right but then the other part on the T piece is going to go to your vent. Yeah, so I needed to clarify that first that this is not just the uh, coming from the cylinder itself. This is not just a vent. Um, it, it gets divided into two. Uh, water flows naturally. It's going to, to follow that other direction. But when there is over pressure, uh, because uh, due to hydrostatic pressure, we know that uh, the loft is at a high elevation. So if there is any overpressure situation, it will then go that other direction and vent upwards. But normal water for normal consumption will go downwards, right? So the cylinder itself acts as a heat exchanger, right? So, as we explained, that cold water gets in from that other side at the bottom, yeah? Uh, and hot water gets out from the top there. There is also another loop, a separate loop. So, there is two loops of water here, which, which don't mix. Now, the, the, the one loop is on the open side of the cylinder. Then the other loop is within some coils with inside the cylinder. So, the water... Uh, that uh, is forced through the co coils inside the cylinder, uh, basically circulates via the right pipework of the cylinder, right hand side. We say left hand side uh, was for cold water inlet and hot water outlets to the to the taps throughout the house. Now, on the right hand side, uh, that goes through the coils, basically. There is going to be a pipe that comes from um, from your boiler. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but my pipe work is quite complicated. Um, let's see. There is a pump, right? Now, before the pump, the, 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 the directional arrow on the pump actually pointing upwards, right? So before the pump, so that means it's up this, the lower part of the pump is the upstream side of the pump. Of course, there's an isolation valve here, right? Isolation valve then pump. But before that isolation valve, there is a pipework that comes from the boiler. Like I said, mentioned my boiler is downstairs in the, in the kitchen. So the water will come up then it will get inside the heat exchanger, right? Uh, prior to, to that, there is a T-piece again, and you've got a pipe with something that looks like a screw at the top. That's actually an air bleed. So if, if, if there is an air lock or something like that, it's, it's bled, the air is bled through that, right? Um, also, from the pump itself, the before it gets into the heat exchanger valve what it does is it acts uh, it acts 
it's a final control element that acts based on the temperature reading that has been picked up by a thermostat, right? So I've got my thermo there, which is currently set at around 60, well, I would say 62 degrees, right? So my, my the, the internal temperature in there uh, determines this valve position, right? If if the cylinder uh, temperature is sufficient enough, the position of this valve is going to operate in such a way that it it starves the water coming from the boiler from getting into the heat exchanger. So this valve is going to close this section and open more of this section, right? Now this section is going to be outlet to the radiators. Then we have also a normal uh, outlet, recirculation outlet from the coils that is located at the bottom. Outlet to the boiler. My normal loop is this way, anti-clockwise like this, through the pump in there. Then you also notice what the engineers did there, right? Before the pump, uh, I needed to mention this after we had explained the the heating loop inside. I didn't want to confuse you. Before the pump, there is a bifurcation again of a pipe. That, ri that rises from the smaller tank, right? The smaller tank in the loft. So, that's simply for topping up, right? It's going to be topped up there. So the pump is going to still going to get uh, a supply of water either way, right? Then, um, also in case of over pressure from the boiler downstairs is going to vent via this pipe to the vent section of the, the small tank in the loft right so we've got those two vending systems like i originally explained so in a nutshell that's what we have with this uh with this type of heating Boiler downstairs, as you can see up there, we've got the supply and the return copper tubes uh, from the heat exchanger cylinder upstairs. Then also we've got a, a, a PVC uh, pipe uh, that is for the boiler exhaust. Then at the bottom of the boiler, we've got the gas pipe which i'm pointing at now then we also have got a an overflow drain 